Hey guys, welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas with me. In today's episode, we are putting together some really cute, quick and easy Dollar Tree Christmas gift baskets. Yes, please. Today is day eight in our 12 day series. We are trucking along and I think today's video is oh so fun. I have a gift basket ready to go for just about everyone on your list. From big gift baskets to little smaller gifts, I've got you covered. So let's go ahead ahead and see what I have in store today. Okay guys, so I wanted to share some of the items that I may or may not be using in my gift baskets today. I have everything here on my little like storage bin lid so that I can have everything nice and organized next to my wrapping station. So we'll go ahead and start here on the left. I this is where I have all of the food items. So we have some sugar cookie mix, peppermints, chocolates, y'all, the Dollar Tree, all of this is from Dollar Tree. So many cute little goodies from the Dollar Tree in super cute packaging, or you could repackage it. We have this little box of chocolate here, the little chocolate stirring spoons, the candy cane spoons, candy canes, peppermints. We have some marshmallows, peppermint bark. This peppermint bark is like long and it's like this one individual pack, but we also have this box of peppermint bark here. All of this stuff that I will be showing you, I have hauled. So I will have all of my Dollar Tree Christmas hauls linked down below if you'd like like a better look at everything I have here. Uh, we have this little Santa and he is filled with some milk chocolates, Russell Stover peppermint, it's crushed peppermint pieces in white fudge. We have these little individual hot cocoa packets. We have the little Christmas Crunch Junior Mints. This bag of popcorn peppermint crunch. We also have these little marshmallows here. They're very cute and festive. Peanut butter clusters, again, all from the Dollar Tree. We even have the Swiss Miss Marshmallow Hot Cocoa. Look at these adorable little snacks. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on from the snacks. Next up, I have pot holders and oven mitts from the Dollar Tree. So we have the Gnome Collection, kitchen towels. We have some gingerbread items. These actually are from the Dollar General, but again, they're only a dollar, so you literally cannot beat that for a buck. So here is just a little quick look at some of these goodies here. We have the red and black buffalo collection. We have the little fuzzy socks from the Dollar Tree. We have little candles from the Dollar Tree coffee mugs, travel coffee mugs. This one's adorable. It says don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Uh, we have mason jars. I also have the little mini kitchen utensils. So I do have some from the Dollar Tree like these here. These are adorable. And then I also do have the ones from Dollar General that are really, really cute. These are adorable and they were only a dollar. I do have some little floral pieces from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so here's a few more items you could put in your gift baskets. These little plates are from the Dollar Tree and they are super cute. We also have some really cute cards from the Dollar Tree. And then I did want to share some options for gift baskets from the Dollar Tree. So we have these little collapsible storage containers in the red and black buffalo check, as well as the white and black buffalo check. We also have these little containers from the Dollar Tree that are super cute. And then let's see, I pulled some stuff from my stash that I was thinking about using, like these little signs here. They're from Walmart this year and they were only 98 cents. I also have these little treat bags from the Dollar Tree, some little wall decor pieces that I pulled. These little bags are from the Dollar Tree and the shrink wrap and pull bows. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. And then these little items here, the little plates and the charger plates. I also wanted to share this option if you wanted to make something on a much smaller scale. These little boxes from the Dollar Tree are perfect to use as well. Okay, so we are almost ready to put our gift baskets together, but I did want to share what I'm working with and where I'm working at. I am a setup at my gift wrapping station. I have a full tour and setup video that I will have linked down below. So that's where I'm working. I have my tissue paper ready to go for the gift baskets as well as some decorative shirts. 
tread to fill it and kind of give it that polished look. If I need any tool or ribbon, I will grab it from here. I have this little storage container filled with some mini pine cones and berries. I also have some little mini ornaments from Walmart some garland ties and some greenery just in case I needed to add anything to my gift baskets. I also have my tags there. So I am ready to get started. Okay guys, popping in to do a quick bow tutorial. I get asked about my bows. So I just wanted to throw a little mini tutorial in here. By all means, I am not a bow expert. My mom has taught me a few things and I kind of just whip these up. So I just like to take my ribbon and I just create loops. So the first loop that you're going to create is going to have your tail. So however long you want your tail or your bow to be is how long you're going to create your first loop. For this particular bow, I'm making all of the loops the same size. You definitely can have varying sizes and loops, but for this bow, I am adding two pieces or it's going to be two parts. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to make sure that my loops are about the same size. So you just take a piece of ribbon, flip it over, pinch it in the center, take the other piece of the ribbon, make another loop and try to see that they're about the same size. It's as easy as that. Then I take a pipe cleaner, twist, twist and twist. And actually right here, this bow is done. I can start fluffing out all of the loops and have a really pretty big bow, but I decided to add a mini bow in the center. So I'm taking some red and black Buffalo check ribbon and I'm doing the same process just on a much smaller scale, creating my loops the same size, and attaching it to the pipe cleaner and then I'm just going to fluff everything out and it is as easy as that. This is the same method that I typically do on all of my bows and I did get questions about Olivia's bow toppers that I made and this is how I do it. So I hope that was quick and easy. You definitely can just replay this little section of the video and follow along if you're making your bows along with me. In my heart, and I keep 
can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. from 
just coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Chilling and having a good, good time Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me put together these gift baskets from the Dollar Tree. Yes, please. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next upload and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.
just gonna be you and me